Pup Save an Ace, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. Sky can't wait for her hero, the talented stunt pilot Ace Sorensen, to arrive in Adventure Bay. Ace is going to perform her daring air show. Sky races over to Zuma, Rocky and Marshall to share the news. We'll get to watch Ace to do her amazing tricks in person, Sky says. The pups are excited. Just then, Ryder receives a worrying call from Ace. Hi Ace, Ryder says. I can't wait to see your air show. About that, Ace replies. Seems my plane's having some engine trouble. I'm going to try to make it to Adventure Bay. It's getting dark and I need a safe place to land. Luckily, Ryder knows just what to do. Don't worry, Ace. The poor patrol is on it, he tells her. No job is too big, no pup is too small. Ryder uses his pup pad to call the poor patrol to the lookout. Poor patrol, ready for action, Ryder, sir, says Chase. Thanks for racing up, pups, says Ryder. Ace Sorensen is in trouble. She needs to make an emergency landing in Adventure Bay. Skye is shocked to hear that her hero is in trouble. I've got to help, she barks. Of course, Skye, replies Ryder. I need you to use your helicopter and night vision goggles to help Ace and land safely in the big field at Farmer Yumi's. Chase, I need you to use your cones to set up a runway in Farmer Yumi's field and use your light to guide Ace there, Ryder tells him. Chase stands to attention. Chase is on the case, he barks. Rocky, he says when the plane lands, I'll need you to start helping Ace through the repairs straight away. Once everyone knows what they need to do, the Paw Patrol sets off. Ryder uses the pup pad on his bike to locate Ace. They find her flying around Jake's Mountain with smoke streaming from her plane. Skye catches up with Ace and begins to guide her towards a safe landing. But suddenly, sparks start flying from the wing. It looks like my luck is running out, Ace says. I know. Ryder appears on Ace's screen. Don't worry, Ace, he says. Just follow Sky. Chase is going to set up a landing strip in Farmer Yumi's field. I'll take the lead, Ace, Sky says. She flies out in front and heads towards the field. Chase quickly sets up the cones to mark out a runway. But Ryder soon spots a problem. The runway is too dark to see from the air. I'm on it, barks Chase. He opens his pup pack and shines his flashlight up into the sky. Your light only shows them where we are, says Ryder. We need to light up the whole runway. Ryder has an idea. Rocky, do you have any old torches on your truck? Sure, I've got loads, Rocky says. He tapes a torch to each cone along the runway. Ryder calls Sky. You should be near the farm now, Sky, looking for the runway lights. Sky spots the lights from high above. Almost there, she calls to Ace. Suddenly, a loud popping sound comes from Ace's plane. The engine cuts out. The plane's going down fast, Ace cries. I've got to jump. Sky calls Ryder. Ace has to parachute out, Sky says. In the dark, but she won't be able to see where she's landing, Ryder says. He thinks for a moment. I know. Ace, have you ever done any wing walking? It's my favourite stunt, Ace says. Great, says Ryder. Sky, drop your harness from the helicopter. If Ace can get out onto the wing and attach the harness to herself, Sky won't have to parachute. Roger, Ryder, calls Sky. You copy, Ace? Meet you on the wing, Ace replies. Sky drops the harness from her helicopter and flies closer to Ace's plane. Ace jumps for the harness, but she misses it. Sorry, Sky, she says. I'm not sure if I can grab it. I've got my parachute on. I'm going to jump. Sky won't let Ace give up. We can do this, Ace, she says. I'll get as close as I can. Carefully, Sky flies her helicopter down even lower. Ace reaches for the harness and grabs it. I've got her, Sky says. Great, Sky, Ryder says. We're waiting for you both at Yumi's farm. 
Now that she's safe, Ace asks Ryder to check on her plane. Amelia. No problem, says Ryder. I can track Amelia from right here. Ryder pulls up the map and tracks the plane to the bay. Ace's plane is heading for a water landing, Ryder reports. Chase, let's head to the bay and try to get into it onto the beach before it sinks. Chase is on the case, barks Chase. Then Ryder calls Marshall on the pup pad. Marshall, we need you to do a medical check on Ace to make sure she's okay. Marshall nods. I'm on my way. Meanwhile, Rocky is waiting for Skye and Ace as they land safely on the ground. Marshall uses his x-ray screen to check Ace for broken bones and gives her the all clear. Then Ace and the pups race off to check on Ace's plane. When they get to the bay, Ace is pleased to find that the Paw Patrol has saved Amelia. Although I don't think she'll be able, she'll be ready for an air show tomorrow, Ace says, looking at the damage. Don't worry, Ace, says Ryder. Whenever you're in trouble, just yelp for help. Ace and the pups fix Amelia together, and soon she's as good as new. I couldn't have done it without the Paw Patrol, Ace says. I can't wait for the air show tomorrow, says Skye. Sky, says Ace. I know how you can I know how you can see my tricks up close. The next day, the pups line up to watch Ace's amazing air show. As she climbs out onto the wing of her plane, they see Sky in the pilot seat. Look at Sky, cries Rubble. She's so good. Ryder smiles proudly at the poor patrol. You're all good pups. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We've got lots more Paw Patrol and lots of other lovely books we'd love to share with you too. This one. Pup Save a Pool Day, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. It's a hot and sunny day in Adventure Bay. Rocky and Rubble are in the park. I need to cool down, says Rubble. Let's take a dip in the pool. Rocky and Rubble head to the pool. But when they get there, it's empty. Oh no, what happened to the water? Says Rocky. I don't know, but we have to find out. This is a job for the poor Patch Roll, says Rubble. Let's go. Over at the lookout, Skye and Marshall are packing things for a day at the pool. Are you ready? Says Skye. Almost, calls Marshall. I just need my towel, sun cream, hat, water, and my super dog comic book. Now I'm ready. Rubble and Rocky race down Main Street to find Ryder. Hey pups, says Ryder. What's wrong? There's no water in the pool, pants Rocky. No water? What are we going to do? asks Alex. Don't worry, Alex, says Ryder, pulling out his pup pad. The poor patrol will fix it. He hits the alarm button and calls the pups to the lookout. The pups line up in the control room. The water from the water tower isn't reaching the pool, says Ryder. We need to find out why. Marshall, I need your ladder to check out the tower. And Rubble, I need your shovel in case we need to dig up a blocked pipe. The pups are excited to help. Everyone else, head to the pool, says Ryder. Ryder, Rubble and Rocky arrive at the water tower. The pad holding up the tower has slipped and the water pipe is bent. We have to fix the tower before we can fix the pipe, says Ryder. We just need a few more paws to help us. Ryder calls Rocky and Chase. Chase, we need your winch. Rocky, we need your forklift too. You got it, Ryder, bark Chase and Rocky. When Rocky and Chase arrive at the water tower, all the pups leap into action. Okay, Paw Patrol, you each have an important job to do, says Ryder. Chase, can we use your cable hook and winch motor? On the way, says Chase. Marshall, calls Ryder. Can you climb up and attach the hook to the tower? Winch cable is hooked on, says Marshall. Next, Rubble uses his digger to make a pile of earth near the tower. Great job, Rubble, says Ryder. Now, Rocky, use your forklift to pick up the cement pad so Rubble can put the earth underneath. Let's do it, says Rocky. Meanwhile, at the pool, Skye has an idea to keep everyone cool. She flies right to the top of Jake's mountain. What could be cooler than snow, says Skye. Check it out, says Zuma. 
here comes Sky to cool us off. But when Sky drops the snow, it all lands on Zuma. First I was a hot dog, now I'm an ice pup, says Zuma. Back at the water tower, the Paw Patrol are finishing the repairs. Chase pulls the tower with his winch. Rocky lifts the cement pad and Rubble dumps earth underneath it. Cement pad going back down, calls Rocky. When it's in place, Chase releases the winch. The water tower straightens out. Great, says Ryder. Now let's fix the bent pipe and get the water flowing again. Rocky finds a spare pipe in his recycling truck and screws it into place. That should do it, says Rocky. Let's see if we fixed it. Ryder calls Sky on the pup pad. Sky, I'm just about to turn the water back on. The pool should start filling up any second now. Thanks, Ryder, says Sky. Get ready, everyone. The water is on its way. Everyone waits by the pool. Then suddenly a huge jet of water bursts out. Pool day is saved. Hooray, they all cheer. Let's swim. When the pool has completely filled up, Zuma says, All right, everybody, ready, set, get wet. Ryder and the other pups arrive at the pool. Thanks for fixing the, fixing the pool, Paw Patrol, says Alex. You're welcome, Alex, says Ryder. Remember, whenever there's trouble, just yelp for help. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We've got plenty more Paw Patrol and lots of other lovely books to share with you as well. Pups Save a Train, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. Chase and Rubble are tidying up the Adventure Bay sand pit. Rubble fills it with new sand, then makes a sand bulldozer for the children. Wow, Rubble, says Chase. What can I say? I'm a builder pup, says Rubble. Meanwhile, Katie and her cat, Callie, are on the train home from Katie's grandma's house. Callie reaches for a bag on the seat. Sorry, Callie, says Katie. Grandma made these treats for the Paw Patrol. Suddenly, the train starts shaking. There's a rock slide on the track and the train has to stop. Katie calls Ryder for help. The Paw Patrol is on the way, Ryder says. No job is too big, no pup is too small. Rocky, Marshall, Zuma and Skye are playing football when their pup tags light up. <laughs> Paw Patrol, to the lookout, calls Ryder. All the pups rush to the control room and line up in their uniforms. Paw Patrol is ready for action, Ryder, sir, says Chase. Ryder tells the Paw Patrol that the train is trapped at the old bridge. We've got to get Katie home safe, he says. Ryder needs rubble in his digger to scoop up the rocks and Rocky in his garbage truck to take the rocks away. Let's dig it, says Rubble. Green means go, barks Rocky. Ryder, Rubble and Rocky zoom to the bridge at top speed. Meanwhile, Katie peers out of the train window to look for her friends. Suddenly she sees them. Ryder and the Paw Patrol are here, Callie, says Katie. But Callie has spotted a seagull outside. She climbs out of the window to follow it onto the roof. Callie, Katie calls, come back. Ryder and the pups look all around, checking that the train tracks aren't broken. The tracks are okay, says Ryder. We just need to clear the rock so we can get the train off the bridge. Rubble on the double, barks Rubble. He uses his digger to scoop the rocks into Rocky's truck. Ryder hurries down the hill to make a look at the bridge. Take a look at the bridge. Rocky, Ryder says through his helmet mic. A beam has cracked. If it breaks, the train will fall. We can prop up the bridge with a lob, says Rocky. But my truck won't be able to carry it down the hill. It's too steep. We need an extra set of paws, says Ryder. Back at the lookout, the other pups are watching the rescue on the screen. Just then, Ryder appears. Chase, I need you and your truck at the bridge as soon as possible, says Ryder. Chase is on the case, he barks and jumps into his police truck. When Chase arrives, Ryder and Rocky are tying a rope around an enormous log. Hi Chase, says Ryder. We need your winch to lower this log down to the bottom of the bridge. 
will use it to hold up the broken beam. Chase attaches the rope to the winch, then Rubble uses his digger to push the log over the edge of the hill. At the bottom of the hill, Ryder and Rocky move the log into place. That's perfect, says Rocky. It will hold until we get the train off the bridge. Just then, they get a call from Katie on the train. Callie is missing, she says. Don't worry, Chase will find her, says Ryder. Callie is on the roof of the train, hoping to steal some bread from the seagull. Suddenly, the cat slips. Meow, she cries, hanging on with just one paw. Luckily, Chase spots her between the carriages. Callie, I'm here to help. Just take my paw. Phew, the paw patrol has cleared the track and Callie is safe too. The train can get moving again. Later, Katie, Ryder and the Paw Patrol are playing in the park. Thanks, Ryder. Thanks, Paw Patrol, says Katie, giving the pups their special treats. You're welcome, say the pups. Whenever there's trouble, just yelp for help. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We'd love to share more books with you, including Paw Patrol and plenty of other kinds of books too. Pup Save Kelly, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. One bright sunny day, Rocky is helping Marshall wash his pup house. Wow, I just can't get your pup house clean. We need some soapy water, says Rocky. Alex rides over on his trike. No sponge is too big, no Alex is too small, he yells as he skids and tumbles into a puddle. The bucket flies through the air and onto Marshall's head. The pups chuckle. That's okay, Alex, says Rocky. You still saved the day by bringing the sponge. But it wasn't a real rescue, says Alex. Maybe someday I'll do something that truly helps. Meanwhile, Rubble is helping Farmer Yumi on the farm. While Kelly and Chicoletta play nearby, Chicoletta grabs Callie's toy and flies up onto the barn roof. Callie chases after Chicoletta and gets her toy back. With the toy in her mouth, Callie jumps to the roof of the silo, the building where corn is stored. But suddenly, she slips and slides down the tiles. Callie just stops herself falling off by clinging to the edge. Chicoletta goes to find Farmer Yumi to get help. Chicoletta, says Farmer Yumi. What's got your eggs in a scramble? Chicoletta clucks in Callie's direction and Farmer Yumi gasps. Claws tight, Callie, she says. I'm calling the Paw Patrol. <coughs> Ryder is in the lookout when suddenly his pup pag beeps and he sees Farmer Yumi appear on the screen. Callie is stuck on top of the silo, says Farmer Yumi. I'm not sure how long she can hold on. Don't worry, replies Ryder. No job is too big, no pup is too small. We're on our way. Ryder signs the alarm button. Paw Patrol to the lookout, he says. The Paw Patrol's pup tags light up and they race to the lookout. As they rush into the lift, Alex runs in at the last moment, crashing into Marshall and the other pups. Sorry, pups, says Alex sheepishly. They all line up in front of Ryder in the control room, while Alex sneaks in next to Marshall. Thanks for hustling, pups, says Ryder. We've got a real emergency on our hands. Callie is stuck on top of Farmer Yumi's silo. Marshall, I need you and your ladder to get to Callie quickly. Ready for a rough, rough rescue, barks Marshall. Sky, I need you and your copter to take a pet carrier, says Ryder. Let's take to the sky, says Sky. Oh, Ryder, pick me, says Alex. I'm super helpful. I know you are, Alex, replies Ryder. But we need to get to Farmer Yumi's fast. All right, Paw Patrol is on a roll. Ryder slides down the pole to his quad bike, while Marshall and Sky scamper towards the slide. Wow, that's so cool, says Alex. Sky races to her helicopter and Marshall heads for his fire truck. But Alex gets in the way. 
Alex and Marshall tumble down into his vehicle together. Funny film. Are you okay, Marshall? asks Alex. I'm great, says Alex. Ready to roll. Marshall radios Ryder on his helmet mic. Hey, Ryder, Alex kind of landed in my fire truck. He wants to ride along. As long as he promises to listen and not to get in the way, says Ryder. I promise, says Alex. Ryder, Sky, Marshall and Alex zip across the Adventure Bay Bridge, up Main Street and through the fields towards Farmer Yumi's farm. Can I turn on the siren, Marshall, says Alex. Please, can I? Sure, says Marshall. Hit the button. Pops away. As they reach the farm, they can see that Callie is still on the silo roof, clinging on as her paws slip and skid on the tiles. That's a long way up for you, Marshall, says Ryder. It will be easier if Callie tries to climb into Skye's pet carrier. Alex offers to help too, but Ryder wants to see if Skye can save the cat. Skye hovers over the silo, but Callie is too scared to get into the basket. Ryder decides to give Marshall a chance instead. I'm fired up, says Marshall. He moves his truck next to the silo and climbs up the ladder. Callie drops her toy and leaps onto Marshall's helmet, then back onto the roof, sending Marshall tumbling down the ladder. Alex picks up Callie's toy. This is her favourite mouse, he says. I'd bet she'd go to Marshall if he showed it to her. Ryder thinks this is a good idea, so Marshall heads back up the ladder with the mouse in his mouth. Callie, he says, just slide down to me and I'll catch you. When Callie sees the toy, she springs onto Marshall and clings on tight. Callie and Marshall bounce down the ladder and land in a heap on the ground. You did it, says Skye. Yes, everyone is fine and safe, says Ryder. Thanks to Alex. Back at the lookout, Ryder thanks the pups for a great job. And Alex, he says, you did a great job too. I'm making you an honorary member of the Paw Patrol. Alex is overjoyed. Thanks, Paw Patrol, he says. This was the best day ever. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We've got plenty more Paw Patrol and lots of other lovely books to share with you as well. Pups Jungle Trouble, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. Today, Ryder and the Paw Patrol are in the jungle, visiting their friend, Carlos. Wow, says Ryder, what an amazing place to live. Yes, it is, says Carlos. It's full of awesome plants and animals. Just then, there's a loud... There's an animal! There's an animal! Just then, there's a loud noise coming from above. Ooh, 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 ooh! Talking of animals, says Carlos, that sounds like Mandy. Everyone looks up to see Mandy the monkey swinging towards them. Ryder tries to take a photo of Mandy, but she snatches his pup pad and races off. Hey, cries Ryder, running into the jungle after Mandy. Give that back. I need it. But the mischievous monkey disappears into the trees. I can't believe she took off with my pup pad, says Ryder. This is a job for the Paw Patrol, says Carlos. Hmm, I can't call the pups without my pup pad, says Ryder, but I think I know what to do. Ryder uses the Paw Patroller's computer to call the pups to their truck. Paw Patrol, to the Paw Patroller. The pups line up, ready for action. Thanks for helping me out, pups, says Ryder. We have to get my pup bag back from Mandy. The pup pad's tracking device shows Mandy heading out of the jungle and towards some ancient ruins. Sky, I need you to find Mandy from the air, says Ryder. Chase, I need you and your super spy gadgets to track Mandy from the ground. And Carlos, you can come with me. I need your phone. Sky soars over the jungle to her helicopter. She puts on her goggles and soon spots Mandy. Ryder, says Sky, calling Carlos's phone. Mandy's heading towards the ruins. This pup's gotta fly! Ryder, Carlos and Chase zoom up the hill in hot pursuit of the naughty monkey. 
Uh-oh, gasped Carlos, worried. These ancient ruins are cursed. Legend has it that once you go in, you never come out. This is the temple of the Monkey Queen, explains Carlos, when they reach the ruins. And there's Mandy the Monkey, says Ryder. She's going in. Let's go after her. The inside of the temple is dark and spooky. Chase sweeps the room with his torch, looking for Mandy. There he is, says Ryder, spotting the cheeky monkey high up on a rock. Chase, you keep her busy and I'll get the pup pad. Super spy Chase is on the case, says Chase. He makes a zip line and slides along it, trying to distract the monkey. Mandy, watch this monkey business. Mandy wants to have a go. She puts the pup pad down and zips along a vine. Nice move, Chase, says Ryder, picking up the pup pad. Great, now let's get out of here before something bad happens, says Carlos, looking worried. Come on, Mandy, calls Ryder. Let's go. But Mandy has spotted a gold necklace on a statue. She starts to lift it over the statue's head. No, Mandy, shouts Carlos. The legend says that if you take the Monkey Queen's necklace, the temple will fall down with you in it. The walls of the temple start to shake and the statues topple over. Let's go, shouts Carlos. Chase, Carlos and Ryder run for the door as everything crashes down around them. When the friends reach the exit, a statue hits the floor. Bang! The statue blocks the door. When a boulder falls down and blocks it from the outside too, the friends push as hard as they can, but the door won't budge and the temple is still collapsing. Ryder uses the pup pad to call Skye. A big boulder fell and is blocking the door out there, she tells Ryder. It's really heavy. I'm going to need help. Ryder calls Rubble and asks him to bring his jackhammer to the ruins right away. Rubble on the double, says Rubble. He zooms into the jungle and quickly breaks up the boulder. <laughs> Back inside the temple, Carlos explains that they need to put the necklace back to stop the walls collapsing. Night vision goggles, barks Chase. He spots Mandy and zip lines towards her. Mandy leaps out of Chase's way, but she drops the necklace. Now's our chance, says Ryder. He grabs the necklace and climbs up to the statue. The temple is shaking all around him. Be careful, shout Chase and Carlos. There, says Ryder placing the necklace back on the monkey queen. The temple falls silent. We did it, says Carlos. The rumbling stopped. Now let's get out of here, says Ryder. But when they get to the door, it still won't budge. Suddenly, Mandy jumps on a stone with a monkey carved on it. Slowly, the temple door starts to open. Ah, woo, howl Rubble and Sky. That night at the jungle camp, the Paw Patrol relax around a campfire. But Mandy has other ideas. She spots Carlos's phone and swipes it, swinging away through the trees. Not again, sighs Carlos, and everyone laughs. <laughs> if you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We'd love to share this and many more Paw Patrol and lots of other kinds of books with you too. Pup Save a School Bus, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. One sunny morning, Mr Hudson, the school bus driver, was starting his route through Adventure Bay. Suddenly, Mr Porter's delivery truck spilled a bunch of bananas. The bananas landed in front of the school bus, sending it sliding and skidding off the road. There were loud popping sounds as the bus rolled over some pointy spikes. All four tyres on the bus were flat. How could Mr Hudson pick up the children and take them to school? He knew he had to alert the Paw Patrol. Don't worry, Ryder said. No job is too big, no pup is too small. Ryder called all the pups to the Paw Patroller. Inside the Paw Patroller, Ryder told the team about the four flat tyres. 
Rocky, your ratchet and tyre patching gear will get that bus rolling again. Marshall, use your water cannons to spray the squished fruit off the street so no one else skids on it. But how will the children get to school on time? Chase asked. The bell was going to ring in ten minutes. Ryder thought for a moment. We'll just have to use a substitute school bus. The Paw Patroller! The pups cheered as they raced to the scene. Rocky used his forklift to prop the, up the bus. Then he got to work removing the tyres with his ratchet. At the same time, Marshall hosed down the mush on the road with his water cannons. Wow! exclaimed Mr Hudson. That's one power washing pup! Meanwhile, Ryder Chase and Robodog used the Paw Patroller to pick up the children and take them to school. At the first stop was their friend, Alex. This isn't a school bus, it's a cool bus, he said as he got on. Next, they picked up, they picked up Julius and Julia. Come aboard the temporary bus, Chase announced over his loudspeaker. The brother and sister hurried inside and sat down. Then they came to a stop where a little girl stood with Mayor Goodway and her pet chicken, Chigaletta. Oh look, a new school bus, said Mayor Goodway. Chicoletta was so excited that she dropped her corn and it rolled away. She immediately ran after it. Ryder, Robodog and Chase followed closely behind her. The older children explored the poor patroller. Alex climbed into Chase's police truck. Julius pretended to steer Zuma's hovercraft. And Julia sat in Rubble's rig. Ryder, Chase and Robodog finally returned with Chicoletta, who had picked up her corn. Chicoletta started to peck at the poor patroller's control panel. Then they heard a rumbling sound. One by one, the pup's vehicles rolled out onto the road with the children inside. Chicoletta had pressed the launch button with her beak. Wah! yelled Alex. Whee! screamed Julia. Woohoo! whooped Julius. No, Chicoletta, said Ryder, but the poor chicken was so startled that she flew straight up, landed in Sky's helicopter and pecked the control panel there too. The helicopter's engine started and away the chicken flew. Ryder quickly called the other pups at the lookout. Team, he said, our school bus rescue has taken a detour. The children are out riding in your vehicles. We need to get them back. Sky popped open the wings on her pup pack and zoomed up to the chicken flying in her helicopter. Looks like you need a co-pilot, she said, slipping into the seat next to Chicoletta. Sky grabbed the controller and safely steered the chopper and its pecking passenger towards home. Back on the ground, Rubble raced towards his rig on the skateboard. With a few fancy moves, he flipped himself inside the digger next to Julia. He passed the brake, barely avoiding a crash, pressed the brake, barely avoiding a crash with Mr. Porter's fruit stand. Out on the water, Julius was speeding towards Captain Turbot's boat in the hovercraft. Zuma whizzed alongside on a kite-powered surfboard and leaped behind the wheel. The hovercraft turned, missing the boat at the last second. Meanwhile, Ryder and Chase caught up with Alex. Time to pull over, the pup barked but Alex didn't know how. Ryder instructed Chase to shoot a net from his pup pack. The net sailed through the air and stretched between two trees, catching the patrol truck like a football. Go! Ryder and Chase shouted, high-fiving each other. Everyone rushed back to the poor patroller. If they hurried, they could still get the children to school on time. But then the poor patroller's door suddenly opened and a little girl threw out a bouncy ball. Robodog chased it while the girl started up the giant vehicle. The Paw Patroller rolled down the street. Ryder sprang into action. Sky, get your helicopter back in the air and lower the harness, he said. Once Ryder had strapped himself into the harness, Sky flew over the Paw Patroller. Ryder dropped down through the roof and ran to the front. He reached for the controls and stopped the vehicle in front of the school just as the other pups arrived. The children waved goodbye and ran inside as the school bus rumbled up the street.
Rocky had fixed the tyres, and the bus was as good as new. Did you just get here? he asked his teammates with a giggle. What took you so long? The end. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We've got plenty more Paw Patrol and lots of other books to share with you as well. Pups Fight Fire, a Paw Patrol book, read by books for kids by flying dragons. Today, Marshall is training for the fastest fire pup trophy. Hose out! barks Marshall, and he takes aim. He shoots water straight into a bucket. Go, Marshall! cheer the other pups. Next, Marshall gets his fire truck ready to rescue Callie from a tree. But as he climbs up the ladder, it hits the tree, and Marshall falls with a bump. Ryder is watching from the lookout. It looks like Marshall could use a helping hand, he says, pushing a button on the pup pad. Paw Patrol to the lookout! And with that, all the pups' tags light up and they race to the tower. In the control room, the pups line up, ready for action. Marshall, you need your help today, says Ryder, but we just want to, you to try your best and not worry about winning. Try my best and forget the rest. Okay, says Marshall. Rocky, can you find something in your recycling pile to fix Marshall's ladder? asks Ryder. Of course, says Rocky. Don't lose it, reuse it. Ha! And the pups race out of the lookout. Rocky parks his truck next to Marshall's fire truck. He finds something he can reuse. This broom will work, barks Rocky. I'll use the handle to make new rungs for your fire ladder, Marshall. Rocky screws the new rungs into place. Then Ryder gets a call on the pup pad. There's a TV crew waiting to film Marshall as he breaks the fastest fire pup record, says Mayor Goodway. He's late. Marshall's ready to go, says Ryder. The Paw Patrol has to get Marshall to the starting line right away. Chase turns on the siren on his police truck and uses his traffic cones to clear the roads. My cones will stop the traffic until Marshall gets through, says Chase. In the park, the TV crew is getting impatient. Marshall arrives just in time. You're on in three, two, one, says the cameraman. Good morning, Adventure Bay, says Mayor Goodway. Today, Marshall the fire pup will attempt to win the trophy for completing the fire rescue course in the fastest time ever. Hooray! Go Marshall! The crowd cheers. If Marshall can ring the city hall bell in less than ten minutes, says Mayor Goodway, he'll be the fastest fire pup ever. Go! Marshall starts the race. Do my best and forget the rest, he says to himself. First, Marshall completes the obstacle course. Then he uses his ladder. The new rungs mean he can easily reach the tree and rescue the toy cat. Marshall races to the next task on the beach boardwalk. Hose out, barks Marshall. He takes aim and the stream of water puts out a fake campfire. Everyone cheers. I did it, says Marshall. Now I just have to get to City Hall and ring the bell. But just as Marshall is about to get in his truck, he spots a real fire. Fire, barks Marshall. I'll take care of that. Hose on. Marshall puts out the fire with his pup pack hose. Thank you so much, Marshall, says Mayor Goodway. You've only got 30 seconds left now, Ryder tells Marshall. Go for it. At City Hall, Marshall races up his ladder to the bell in the tower. Dong! But he's one minute late. Poor Marshall hasn't broken the record. Marshall, you stop to put out a real fire, says Mayor Goodway. That makes you an Adventure Bay hero. The mayor presents him with the trophy. For the greatest fire pup in the world, she says, and everyone cheers. Later, back at the lookout, the Paw Patrol is watching Marshall on the news. You did it, Marshall, the pups shout. Marshall is very proud of his trophy. I really did my best, he says. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We'd love to share lots more Paw Patrol and lots more other kinds of books with you too. P.
Kid Crew Pups, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. It was a beautiful day in Adventure Bay. Alex Porter went to visit his grandpa. He had something special to show him. Hey grandpa, said Alex, check out what I made from this old restaurant stuff. It's a super trike. The trike was great. It had a seat made from a wooden vegetable crate and the brake was a pizza paddle, the kind that Alex's grandpa used to pull pizzas out of the oven. Nice, said Grandpa. You use lots of tape, just like you taught me, Alex grinned. Watch! He grabbed the handlebars, jumped into the seat and pushed off. The trike rolled over a bump. Bang! The back wheels fell off. Clang! The front wheel bounced away. Crash! The handlebars came apart. Alex was left sitting in a vegetable crate. My super trike is ruined, he sighed. Alex's grandpa pulled out his mobile phone. I know who can help, he smiled. Ryder was fixing the wheel of his all-terrain vehicle when the call came through. Alex could use some help, said Mr Porter. I know you're pretty handy with gadgets and vehicles, Ryder. Tell him we're on our way, said Ryder. Paw Patrol, let's roll. When there's trouble in Adventure Bay, Paw Patrol is always ready for action. Ryder and the pups jumped in their trucks and raced to the rescue. The Paw Patrol was on the case in no time. Ryder helped Alex pick up his broken trike from the road while Trace, Chase slowed down the cars. The team took the broken trike back to the lookout garage. Rocky and Ryder got to work, fixing up and putting the wheels back on with bolts. Rocky gave Ryder a pair of pedals from his re recycling bin. Don't lose it, reuse it, said Rocky. Just remember to keep your feet on the pedals at all times, Ryder explained. The new super trike was even better than before. Alex couldn't wait to try it out. Come on, Ryder, yelled Alex. Let's race. Ryder helped Alex put his helmet on. You need to get used to your vehicle first, he replied. Let's take a slow drive down the lookout driveway. But Alex wasn't listening. He raced straight out of the garage and down the driveway. Zoom! Ryder chasing Rocky ran after the trike, but it went faster and faster until they couldn't keep up. Ryder and the pups jumped in their trucks and followed Alex down the hill. Alex, called Ryder, slow down. But Alex was having too much fun. Whee! Look at me go! he shouted. He kicked his feet in the air and zoomed down the hill. Soon Alex was out of control. Help, he cried. I can't get my feet back on the pedals. They're turning too fast. Ryder gasped. Alex was heading towards a busy street. Cars and lorries were speeding along the main road at the bottom of the driveway. Chase, Ryder called into his helmet mic. Secure the traffic. Chase skidded his truck to a stop, switched on his flashing lights and signalled to the traffic. The cars and lorries waited at the junction and Alex and Ryder zipped safely by. But Alex's trike was still out of control. Paw Patrol had to slow him down fast. Sky hovered overhead in her helicopter. Sky, radioed Ryder. Can you hook Alex's trike? Got it, Ryder, Sky barked, flying low over the bridge. She swung her hook down and grabbed the back of the super trike. The trike slowed down to a stop. Alex was safe. Ryder and the pups cheered. Great work, Sky. Alex climbed safely out of his trike. Thanks, Sky, he said, giving her a wave. Ryder and the pups hurried over to their friend. I'm sorry, Alex whispered. If I'd started slowly like you said, this wouldn't have happened. That's okay, smiled Ryder. But whenever you try something new, you have to start out slowly. Alex nodded. Thanks, Paw Patrol. You saved me and my super trike. Ryder decided to take everyone to the lemonade stand. Let's race on over, said Alex, running towards his trike. Sky and Rocky shook their heads. 
Oops, said Alex. I mean, roll on over. The Paw Patrol crew jumped in their trucks. Together they showed Alex how to ride the super, tra super trike gently and safely along the road. When they got to the lemonade stand, Ryder had a surprise for Alex. You've earned the safe driving cup, he beamed. Ryder handed Alex a gold trophy full of ice cream. It was his own yummy special gift from the Paw Patrol. If you enjoyed this book, we've got plenty more to share with you, including Paw Patrol and lots of other different kinds of books too. Rubble to the Rescue, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. The Paw Patrol pups love to watch their favourite hero, Apollo the Super Pup, save the day in his own super way. Wow, Rubble said when the show ended. Isn't Apollo the superest super pup ever? Just then, Ryder walked in and invited the pups to play football outside. Coming, Rubble, asked Ryder. No, thanks, said the pup. I'm going to play Rubble the super pup and save the day my own way. Hmm, who can I save? Rubble asked Ryder. Farmer Yumi might need some help around the farm, he suggested. Great idea, Ryder, shouted Rubble as he headed straight out the door. Hi, Farmer Yumi, Rubble called as he arrived at the farm. Need a super pup to save the day? My chickens flew the coop when I left the door open, she explained. Can you help, super pup? Rubble ran at a group of chickens and they leapt into the air in surprise when he steered the startled chickens back into their coop. Is there anything else Rubble the Super Pup can do for you? He asked Farmer Yumi. Meg Goodway might need some help, she replied. Rubble the Super Pup is here to save the day, Rubble said as he arrived at City Hall. Meg Goodway dashed past him, looking worried. Hi, Meg Goodway, Rubble called. You're just the pup I need, she said. There's been a rock slide and the train is stuck inside Mountain Tunnel. Don't worry, Mayor Goodway, Rubble said. Rubble the Super Pup is here to save the day. Rubble decided he didn't need to stop Ryder in the pup's football game. He could save the day his own way. I knew the Paw Patrol would save the day, said the train engineer, when Rubble arrived at the tunnel. But where is Ryder and the other pups? Rubble the Super Pup can handle this, said Rubble, just like a polo the Super Pup does, all on my own. The engineer wasn't so sure. He was worried that more rocks could fall down if Rubble wasn't careful. But the Super Pup was confident that he could save the day. Rubble charged at the fallen rocks, but they wouldn't budge. He charged again, this time pushing a boulder out from underneath the rock slide. Look out, shouted the engineer, as more rocks fell down, blocking the entrance completely. Quick, we have to get out the other side, said Rubble. But as they raced towards the other end of the tunnel, more rocks fell down and blocked the exit. I'm sorry, Rubble said, sinking to the floor. I thought I could do it myself, but I've just made everything worse. Rubble sat up. He knew exactly what to do. Yelp for help. The tag around Rubble's neck lit up as he called Ryder and the Paw Patrol. Hi, Ryder, said Rubble. I need the Paw Patrol here on the double. There was a rock slide at Mountain Tunnel, and now we're trapped. Don't worry, Rubble, Ryder said. No job is too big, no pup is too small. We're on our way. Using his pup pad, Ryder gathered the rest of the Paw Patrol and set off to rescue Rubble. The Paw Patrol was on a roll. The Paw Patrol arrived at Mountain Tunnel, ready for action. Chase is on the case, Chase said. He used the winch on his police truck to move some of the rocks and create an exit. Rubble squeezed through the gap. Thanks, Chase, he said. Now, how can I help? Moments later, Rubble jumped in his digger. Okay, Rubble, said Ryder, giving Rubble a big thumbs up. You know what to do. Rubble drove his digger towards the rock slide. He scooped up the rocks blocking the tunnel 
and move them safely away. When all the rocks had been moved, the engineer dove the train out of the tunnel. Rubble, you did it, he cheered. You saved the day, your own way. Rubble shook his head and smiled at Chase and Zuma. You mean I helped save the day, the poor patrol way. As the train pulled away, the engineer tooted the horn in thanks. Ryder gave each of the pups a pat on the head to congratulate them on saving the day. Now let's go and play together, said Rubble. The poor patrol way. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We'd love to share lots more Paw Patrol and plenty of other books with you as well. Chase is on the case, a Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. One evening, Ryder noticed a problem on the other side of Adventure Bay. The light in the lighthouse wasn't working. Without it, ships could crash into the rocks near Seal Island. I'd better tell Captain Turbot, Ryder said. Ryder picked up his pup pad to call the captain. Captain Turbot, the light has gone out in your lighthouse, Ryder reported. Can you fix it? No, answered Captain Turbot. I'm out at sea in my boat and the fog is so thick, thick I can't sail home without the light. Uh-oh, said Ryder. Uh-oh is right, agreed Captain Turbot. Plus, there's a big cruise ship full of people due to pass by Seal Island in exactly one hour. That ship will need the light too, or it could crash, said Ryder. The poor patrol needs to get the lighthouse working again. Ryder called the pups of the poor patrol to the lookout. Poor patrol, we have an emergency, Ryder told them. A thick fog is coming across the bay. Captain Turbot is stuck at sea and the lighthouse isn't working. We need to fix it fast or a cruise ship could hit the rocks near Seal Island. We're ready for action, Chase reported. Zuma, Chase, Rubble, Sky, Marshall and Rocky wagged their tails and waited to be picked up for the mission. Zuma, Ryder called out. I need you to take Chase across to Seal Island on your hovercraft. Let's dive in, cheered Zuma, excited to take part in the rescue. Chase, Ryder continued, we can use your searchlight in the lighthouse until Captain Turbot gets back. Chase is on the case, the police pup reported. In two shakes of a pup's tail, Chase and Zuma were zipping over the waves in Zuma's hovercraft. Ryder followed close behind on his all-terrain vehicle. Around them, swirls of fog began to appear. The fog is coming in fast, shouted Ryder. Let's hurry. Suddenly, Wally the walrus popped out of the water in front of them, blocking the way. Ryder glided to a stop. Wally started jumping in the air and flapping his flippers. Zuma tried to go around him, but Wally would not move. Come on, let us pass, Zuma said. We have to get to the lighthouse to fix the light. This isn't playtime, added Chase. Then Ryder had an idea. But maybe it is snack time. Ryder grabbed a pup treat from his bag and threw it to Wally, who caught it in his mouth and swam away. Come on, pups, called Ryder. The fog is almost at the island. When they reached the shore, Ryder, Zuma and Chase could see the cruise ship heading straight for Seal Island. Chase, we need to get your searchlight to the top of the lighthouse right away, Ryder said. I'm on it, Chase said. Looking up the, steel hill, the steep hill to the lighthouse, there wasn't a minute to lose. But when the team arrived at the lighthouse, they found the door was locked. We have to find another way in, said Ryder. He looked up and noticed an open window just above them. Chase, aim your net just below that window, Ryder said. Chase opened his pup pack to activate his net and then shot it on to the lighthouse. Ryder climbed up to the net and through the window. I'm in, be right down, he called to the pups. In a flash, he opened the door. Great idea, Ryder, Zuma said. Let's roll, barked Chase as they raced up the staircase. As Chase, R Zuma and Ryder reached the top of the lighthouse, they heard a worried voice over the radio. Come in, Seal Island Lighthouse, it said. 
This is the cruise ship. We can't see your light. Over. Chase dashed to the window and shone his searchlight into the fog. The light beamed out brightly across the bay. We can see you, Seal Island Lighthouse, cheered the captain over the radio. The cruise ship turned away from the rocks just in time. Thank you and out, he said. Ryder cheered and Chase and Zuma barked in celebration. This one's the pop. The light didn't just guide the cruise ship to safety. It helped Captain Turbot find his way home too. Poor Patrol, you did it, he shouted, putting on his sunglasses. Um, why are you wearing sunglasses at night? asked Ryder. So I can fix the lighthouse light, said Captain Turbot. Cover your eyes, everyone. Soon light shone out over the bay. The lighthouse was working once more. Thanks again, poor patrol, said Captain Turbot. You saved the day, the cruise ship and me. Zuma and Chase barked happily. Any time, Captain, said Ryder, standing proudly by the, his pups. If you're ever in trouble, just yelp for help. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We've got plenty more Paw Patrol and many more other books that we'd love to share with you as well. Thank you. Another one? Another one. Mm -hmm. Another one? Pup, pup, it away! A Paw Patrol book. Read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. It was the day of the annual Mayor's Balloon Race, and Adventure Bay's own Mayor Goodway was nervous. Why did I agree to a balloon race? She said, covering her eyes. I have to get over my fear of heights. Don't worry, I'll be in the balloon to help you, said Ryder. Ready to check the balloon pups? Ready, Ryder, sir, Rubble barked. Rubble and Chase checked the dusty balloon. Uh-oh, Chase said. It's got a, 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 a jew. When he had stopped sneezing from the dust, he continued, A hole, a ripped balloon can't hold air. Mayor Goodway groaned. That means Mayor Humdinger from Foggy Bottom will win again. Don't worry, Ryder said. We'll get this balloon ready for the race. No job is too big. No pup is too small. So Ryder pulled out his pup pad and called the rest of the Paw Patrol. The Paw Patrol quickly assembled at the lookout. Ready for action, Ryder, sir, Chase barked. Ryder told the pups about the mayor's balloon. We need to fix the balloon for the race. Rocky, can you find something in your recycling truck to patch it up? Don't lose it, reuse it, Rocky said and the hot air that makes the balloon rise comes from a gas flame, Ryder continued. Marshall, I'll need you to make sure the heater is safe. I'm all fired up, Marshall said, replied. The Paw Patrol raced to the town square. Rocky quickly inspected the tear in the balloon. I've got the perfect patch in my truck, he said. And how do the gas tanks look, Ryder asked. The big question is, how do they smell? Marshall replied. He sniffed the tanks. I don't smell any gas leaks. Rocky glued a piece of Zuma's old surf kite over the hole. Good work, Ryder said. That patch is a perfect fit. Ryder turned a lever and the balloon slowly filled with hot air. The other balloons were gathering on the horizon. The race was about to begin. It's time to get over my fear of heights, the mayor shouted. I'm going to win this race. She pumped her fist and accidentally hit the lever on the heater. The balloon started to fly away. Marshall jumped up and grabbed the rope with his teeth, but the balloon didn't stop. Instead, Marshall was pulled high into the air. Suddenly the rope slid from Marshall's mouth and he fell. Luckily, Marshall landed in Ryder's arms. Thanks, Ryder, he barked. The race had started and there was no time to waste. Ryder called Sky on his pup pad. Mayor Goodway took off without me. I need you to fly me to her balloon in your helicopter. Sky slid into her pup house, which quickly turned into a helicopter. Let's take to the sky, she called out, zooming into the air. Sky flew to Ryder and dropped a harness down to him. 
He locked himself in and then Sky whisked him away. I'll swing you over to the balloon, Sky said. Ryder sailed through the air, reached out and caught hold of the basket. Mare Goodway helped Ryder climb into the balloon. Then Ryder gave it a quick burst of hot air and it rose over the lighthouse. Made it, Sky, Ryder reported as he undid his harness. All right, Mayor Goodway, are you ready to win this race? The mayor gave Ryder a thumbs up. I'm in it to win it. Then Ryder and the mayor raced after the other balloons. With Ryder at the controls, the balloon quickly caught up with Mayor Humdinger, who was in the lead. The race is on, Ryder yelled. I have never lost a race and I'm not going to now, Mayor Humdinger shouted back. With a rush of hot air, Ryder and Mayor Goodway's balloon whooshed past Mayor Humdinger's balloon. There's Jack, Jake's mountain, Mayor Goodway exclaimed. The finish line is just on the other side. The winds are stronger higher up, Ryder said. We'll have a better chance of winning if we go up and use them. Up, up and away, cheered the mayor. Ryder guided the balloon higher and they rode the rushing winds over Jake's mountain. But Mayor Humdinger did the same. His balloon zipped right past Ryder and Mayor Goodway. Down on the ground, the Paw Patrol pups cheered as the balloons came into view. Mayor Goodway and Ryder dropped in ahead of Mayor Humdinger at the last second and crossed the finish line first. They won the race. Mayor Humdinger glumly handed the trophy to Mayor Goodway. I believe this belongs to you. Mayor Goodway gave the trophy to Ryder. This really belongs to Ryder and the Paw Patrol, Ryder smiled with pride. Thanks, Mayor Goodway. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We've got plenty more Paw Patrol and other books to share with you too. Another book. Mm -hmm. King for a Day. A Paw Patrol book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. The Paw Patrol pups are in a play. Chase is the king. The other pups are knights. Captain Turbot builds a castle for the play. He hammers one last nail. The castle falls. Captain Turbot is stuck. He calls the Paw Patrol for help. Ryder and his pups race to the rescue. They are ready to help Captain Turbot. Rubble lifts the castle wall. Chase pulls the castle tower off the captain. Marshall x-rays Captain Turbot. Phew, no broken bones. Now the pups must fix the castle. Sky flies a wall into place. The castle is finished. But Chase begins to cough. Chase is sick. Ryder asks Marshall to play the king. Marshall and Ryder paint the castle. Rocky screws a door onto the wall. The play begins. The princess is trapped in the tower. A king must save her. The pup who can pull the bone from the stone will become king. Marshall tries. He pulls the bone. It hits the tower. The princess falls. Marshall catches the princess. What a good pup. Lady Sky puts a crown on Marshall's head. Hooray! The king saved the day. And Marshall saved the play. The end. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe and we'd love to share many more books with you.